these circuit theorem questions you should solve before going to the exam hall wow and we know it's not always possible to revise everything before going to write your exams now I've selected some questions that will let you revise enough meaning that after going through them you have revised most of the theorems that are likely to be repeated in your exams so we have the first one over here find the angles marked with letters in each diagram below if O is the center of the circle so now we can see that this is a tangent AB is a tangent and O is the center over here it is stated over here that AB is a tangent and you know that a tangent and a radius will always make an angle of 90 degrees so let's see how we can solve this so in the first so the A will be equal to 90 degrees so don't forget that a tangent and a radius will always make an angle of 90 degrees then we can now find the B B plus 25 should give us 90 degrees or you can add R and equate them to 180 degrees so B will be equal to 25 degrees now you know this is a tangent again and this is also a tangent so they must make an angle of 90 each over here so we know this is a quadrilateral A B C O so the sum of angles in a quadrilateral should give you 360 degrees so we can solve for A to arrive at 74 degrees good so we have revised the angle that the tangent and the radius will make which is a right angle in the diagram below points Q and S lie on a circle center O S R is a tangent to the circle at S so this is a tangent over here so we are still reviewing the tangent and L and at S angle QRS is called 40 degrees and angle SOQ is 80 degrees so this angle is 80 40 mm, prove that triangle QSR is an isosceles triangle so for us to prove that this triangle is an isosceles triangle we need to show that the base angles are equal so we need to find this angle and show that it is also 40 degrees now you know this is a tangent this is a radius again so you have to note that this will give us 90 degrees so let's illustrate this over here as the base angles of this isosceles triangle you know this is also an isosceles triangle now let's represent this by y we can also solve for x now so we know that 80 degrees plus 2x as this plus this plus this should give us 180 that is in the sum of interior angles of a triangle and solve for x to obtain 50 degrees now we know that this is 50 degrees but we know this is a radius and a tangent will give us 90 degrees hence x plus y should give us 90 but the x is 50 so our y is equal to 40 degrees hence we have proven that this angle is an isosceles triangle because we have shown that the base angles are equal ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral PAQ is a tangent to the circle at A BC is equal to CD so this BC is BC and this is CD they are equal AD is power to BC and BAQ is 32 degrees find the size of angle BAD angle B angle BAD so this angle over here this angle over here now you need to recall that this angle that this side of triangle ADB 
Oh yeah, ABD is making with the tangent will be equal to an angle in the alternate segment over here. So we have reviewed that property also. Angles in alternate segment are equal. So this angle over here is equal to 32 degrees. Now you have to make sure you know how to identify angles in alternate segments. This is the point of tangency and you have to know that these two lines should create should have a third side a third side connecting them that is on the circumference. So that is how you identify the angles in alternate segment. So the point of tangency is here and the two sides that is having a point of tangency should create should meet at a third side should meet with a third side on the circumference should meet with a third side on the circumference that will give us the angles in alternate segment so now we need to find this angle over here so this angle over here is also 32 degrees because we have this line being parallel to this line so if this line is parallel to this line then this is seven as a transversal so if this is a transversal then we have a z shape over here so the z angles are alternate angles and they are equal so if this angle is 32 degrees we're told that this triangle is an isosceles triangle so this and this are equal so the base angle over here must also be equal so 32 32 now if that is the case we can now find this third angle of triangle bdc so you know this is 116 degrees if you add this this and this will give you 180 so if that is the case we can find this angle over here so this angle and this angle should give us 180 degrees that's the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary or they add up to 180 degrees so we have reviewed alternate angles angles in alternate segment then we have also reviewed a cyclic property of a cyclic quadrilateral property on the tangent db is extended to t so this is a diagram so we have this tangent db which is extended to t so this tangent is not extended now the line ao ao is added to the diagram so angle tb is 62 degrees so this angle is 62 degrees now work out the value of x so this is x now to find x we need to know one of the angles in this isosceles triangle aob so that can be possible if we can recall the angles in alternate segment so this is the point of tangency over here so these two uh, these two arms of this angle over here should meet with a third side on the circumference but we don't have anything like that so it means we can't use the angles in alternate segment so what do we do next we know that this is a radius it's a radius so it will make an angle of 90 degrees with this tangent so we can find this angle over here which is 28 degrees now if this is 28 degrees then we know this is an isosceles triangle so this is also 28 degrees now we can find x so x plus 28 plus 28 should be equal to 180 so x is equal to 180 minus 56 which is 124 x is 124 degrees now we want to find now we want to find y but before we can find y we need to transfer y into this quadrilateral over here because we don't know this angle we don't know this angle and there's no possibility for us to find that angle now 
so what we do is now is transfer there's no possibility for us to find that angle in this triangle so we transfer it into this quadrilateral but because we know that this is 90 this is also 90 because they are tangent then we can also find out that this is an isosceles triangle so this angle here is also y so if this angle is also y then we know that this angle over here this whole angle will be equal to y plus 28 degrees y plus 28 degrees now look at something this arc over here this arc over here is creating this whole angle over here on the circumference and it is also creating this whole angle over here at the center so if that happens then the relationship is that the angle subtended at the center is twice the one at the circumference so we have reviewed that theorem also angle at the center and angle at the edge so this will be twice this angle over here so now we have managed to transfer this y into this triangle over here this quadrilateral over here so we just add all and equate them to 360 degrees and solving for y we get y to be 42 degrees now p q and t are points on the circumference of a circle center o the line a t b is a tangent at t to the circle p q is equal to t q p q is equal to t q so this is an isosceles triangle that's p q t calculate the size of angle o t q o t q o t q now this is how we go about it we know this is a tangent and it's creating an angle of 58 degrees with this side of this triangle p t q and this is the point of tangency so if you trace the two arms of this triangle it should meet with a third side of the triangle on the circumference so that is why we are having this to be equal to this so this angle is alternate to this angle and they are equal now if we find this angle we can now find this angle and this angle because it's an isosceles triangle so this angle is equal to this angle let's call them x each so we can find the value of x by adding all the angles and equating it to 180 degrees so we solve for x to obtain x to be 61 degrees so this angle over here is 61 degrees but we know that this angle over here is 90 degrees because the tangent and the radius will always make an angle of 90 degrees but we also know that this whole angle is 61 degrees 61 degrees but we need to find this small angle over here so 90 minus 58 will give us 22 degrees but this whole angle is 61 1. so we take 22 away from 61 to obtain 39 degrees over here hence angle OTQ is equal to 39 degrees so you need to know how to record the theorems don't let the diagram scare you just go bit by bit when there's a tangent check and see whether you can use the alternate angles theorem or you can use the perpendicular theorem that is the tangent will make an angle of 90 degrees with the radius don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified anytime i upload a new interesting video like this